Hello learners and welcome to a brief video tutorial on R circuits. Now, R circuits, it, they are circuits that only are composed of resistors and a power source. So I will draw a demo one here. Something like this. So I've got my battery, R1, R2, and R3. And what will be helpful to us is to determine the equivalent resistance of this circuit. Now, we learned that series resistors, to find their equivalent resistance, it is just a straight up sum, R1 plus R2 plus R3. But for parallel resistors, it is a reciprocal sum. So what you'd want to do here is you'd want to start inside your parallel uh, set and then work your way out. So get an equivalent resistance here. Call it REQ1. And that is going to be a reciprocal sum. Whoops. 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Then simplify that circuit down. Then you end up with two resistors that are in series. So it would look something kind of like this. This would be REQ1, and this is still R1. 1 over REQ1 is going to be 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So you can solve for that value. Then you end up with two series resistors. You hear how annoying your peers are? That knocking is someone trying to get in repeatedly. They just haven't been taught that when someone doesn't answer, they're generally busy. It's okay. So now you have two series resistors. So the total equivalent resistance for this circuit would be R1 plus REQ1, which you could use to solve for the initial current out of the battery. Very helpful when solving for components inside this resistor. So that I0 is the current that is drawn directly off the battery, which flows through that resistor. So, brief tutorial on how to solve for the equivalent resistance for a circuit. 